Ya Ali Madad, I hope you are keeping well and safe. My name is Nazish Bana, and I will be your host for this evening. Before I share the program for tonight, here are some highlights of the board's activities this week. Tomorrow, Sunday, 8th August, why not join us for a face-to-face -face SEMA yoga class at the Aga Khan Center from 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Learn the art of embodied relaxation through vinyasa yoga. Now, there is a maximum capacity of 12 per class, so make sure you book the space via the IIUK planner to avoid missing out. How about joining the Golden Club from 12.30 p.m. tomorrow, allowing the Jamaat to socialize and participate in lifelong learning? The Aga Khan Health Board wishes to extend an invitation to all healthcare professionals in the UK and European Jamaat to the first ever International Ismaili Healthcare Professionals Conference between 13th and 15th August. The conference will take place virtually, allowing participation of Jamaati members from right across the world. The themes of the conference will include the ethical framework of Islam focusing on serving humanity and building resilience in the face of adversity. To register, please see this week's Al Saha. Now, as a founding member of the Exhibition Road Cultural Group, the Ismaili Center London will be participating in a summer event over a few days each month, which started on 2nd of August and will continue through to the end of October. Visitors will be able to view a number of exhibits, including some beautiful displays featuring gardens and architecture of global Ismaili centers, projects by the Aga Khan Development Network and the Aga Khan Award for Architecture, which will be housed in the entrance foyer of the Zamana space on Cromwell Road. Another one for those Ismailis that reside in England the Aga Khan Health Board would like to remind the Jamaat that from 16th August, if you're fully vaccinated or under 18, you will not need to self-isolate following close contact with someone who has COVID-19. You will still need to take a PCR test and self-isolate if the result is positive. If you have had only one dose of the vaccine or are not yet vaccinated, you will need to self-isolate following close contact with someone who has COVID-19. The Aga Khan Health Board encourages individuals to have the vaccine to ensure protection of yourselves and of those around you. Please remember that the vaccine does not stop you catching the virus. You may still catch it, but it is effective against serious illness, hospitalization, and death. The Aga Khan Social Welfare Board telephone link is a group of dedicated, long-serving volunteers who regularly make phone calls to our senior members of the community aged over 70 years, listening, talking to them, and conveying important messages. It is a seva that can fit into your lifestyle. So if you have the time and ability to listen, then all you need is a telephone, a computer or laptop, and basic IT skills to join this growing telephone link team. Help us reduce isolation, loneliness, and support Marids to maintain a positive mental health. Training will be provided and a long-term commitment is preferred. See this week's Al Saha for more information on how to join. And finally, the long-awaited Jubilee Cup is back. The Aga Khan Youth and Sports Board is so excited to announce the launch of the Jubilee Cup 2021. Save the date for the sports tournament we've all been looking forward to, which will take place on Saturday 23rd and Sunday 24th of October. It's not quite the Olympics, but sports will include golf, football, netball, badminton, squash, cricket, and chess. So mark your calendars, brush up on your skills, and get ready for a weekend of sport, competition, and community.
Keep your eyes peeled as registration opens soon. And now, on to tonight's program. Over five weeks, we will be sharing Ali Tikarim, a tribute to the Ismaili Imams. A group of actors discover a world of books from which they share events of Ismaili history, such as at Ghadir Akum, where Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, makes a pivotal statement about Hazrat Ali. Having shared Acts 1 and 2, tonight we will be sharing Act 3 on Alamut. After a dispute over the succession of Imamat at the Fatimid court in Cairo, the renowned Fidai Hassan Sabah establishes a network of castles in Iran, notably Alamut and Lamassar, that serve the Nizari lineage of the Imams. We hope you enjoy tonight's program, and please do continue to join us for the next couple of weekends for Act 4 and Act 5 of Ali Tikarim. Continue to stay safe and well. Ya Ali Madan.